Hey guys, Chris Donnelly with Guarantee RV Centers in Junction City, Oregon. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Itasca Sunstar. This is the 35F model. Let's go inside. I love this floor plan. Nice and open. This is going to be a bath and a half floor plan. You can sleep quite a bit of people in here. I'm going to kind of give you a quick overview first of all. This is your living area here. Huge couch. Everyone can sit around this. You're facing the TV here. You got your half bath right there. But before we get into that, kitchen area. Corian countertops, lots of storage, lots of drawers. Of course it's Winnebago so you've got good quality hardwood cabinets all over. Microwave stove, nice fridge, got a pantry right beside it. And then your TV area here, probably got a spot for like DVDs, stuff like that. Storage above for movies. Your control center's right here. This is gonna have a power line energy management system. That's really nice. You got an inverter set up as well. First, the half bath. Surprisingly enough, you can squeeze in here. Just got the toilet sink. This is nice, so bath and a half serve kind of a dual purpose. I mean, not everyone wants two bathrooms, but when you're on the road, that's going to be the bathroom that you access. Obviously, when the slides are in, you can't access the ensuite bathroom here. But also, if you have guests and everything like that, you can leave personal stuff out in your own bathroom and still have this for guests and things like that. So, uh, got a nice full-size queen bed here with uh, spots on each side. You got a CPAP, charge your phone, whatever. A little cubby in there, too. Some storage above. Nice dresser area here, lots of drawers, big cabinets here. Yeah, again, nice deep drawers, lots of room. Let me turn on a light in here. Here we go. And here's gonna be your ensuite bathroom. Nice uh, counter space in here. Which way is this open? Nice big shower. This is actually a square shower. So, lots of room to move around in here. Not that you can be doing a lot of moving, but you know, it's nice to have space. So, nice ensuite there to the master. Coming back forward here, see again, you can see how big this couch is. This is huge. Like, I mean, me plus three, at least. Dinette here, this also makes into a bed. And you got storage underneath. Winnebago does the uh, hinge, which I really like. You're not shuffling a bunch of stuff around. And then up in the cab area here, pretty straightforward. You got the captain's chairs that turn around. This does have a little recliner function in it, uh, but you got your levelers, you got a nice one piece windshield, great visibility, uh, backup camera, turn signal cameras, um, levelers of course, like I said, and good stuff there. Let's take a quick peek at the outside. What I like about this, it's a Sunstar, but you got full body paint on this one. Not a, not a very uh, common option. Uh, I don't have the barrel key for this, but you got an outside entertainment in here, TV, and you got your side open compartments, probably LP here, and more as you go along the back. This is gonna be on the bigger Ford chassis, as you can see. This is gonna have the 22 and a half wheels. So you're gonna be on the heavier Ford chassis. So this one definitely has some upgrades compared to your typical Sunstar. So this one's a joy to drive on that bigger chassis. It's gonna ride really nice. But even at 35 feet, you kind of get the perfect mixture of enough room without taking up too much space. So you should come down and check it out. Ask for Chris.